real quick yes this is a collab video make sure you go and check out his channel the link is in the description below maybe you tell him dr zizi sent you yes this video might be a little bit cringy because we tried to speak over the internet and it was sometimes difficult to get a word across but regardless there's a lot of great first-hand information for those who you guys who are planning to go study medicine in russia uh, let's get to the video What's good YouTube? This is your boy Dr. Zizi and today we got a guest in the house. His name is Subesh Khan from Sunday Vlogs. He is a medical student currently studying in Russia. He is in fourth year and me and him discussed some interesting facts about studying medicine in Russia. And today we're going to be talking about cost of living in Russia. So let me ask uh, Aziz that uh, what was the his uh, semester fee? My fee structure was pretty simple. Uh, I, I went to Crimean Medical University. When I went there, it used to be part of Ukraine. And at that time, this was I'm talking six years ago when I started my university, I used to pay three thousand five hundred dollars for uh, for my university fee and then hostel used to cost like around a thousand dollars so like four thousand five hundred dollars used to be the entire cost for a year for university and hostel but after 2014 when Crimea became part of Russia the fees actually became even more cheaper and as far as I know the fees is around three thousand dollars for per, for a year and the hostel fee has come down to around two hundred dollars for the entire year so that was really cheap that was the most attractive part for me and i know a lot of people who actually come to study in russia which is the fee structure i think it's probably the area that we live in like i used to live in a cheaper area i think because your area is much more expensive like and i think if you go to moscow your hostel fee can even be more expensive i guess so yes in moscow you can find a more expensive universities and the general life here uh, in Moscow, in comparison of other part of Russia, that uh, there is uh, very expensive. Right, right, right. So let me let's go further. Like uh, th talking about apartment. Like if someone who doesn't want to live in the hostel and he wants to rent out an apartment, how much do you think an apartment will cost in your area? I think it's Dagestan where you stay, right? So you can find your apartment uh, near about eight thousand to ten thousand ruble. I'm talking about uh, in the ruble. Ruble is a Russian currency. So you can find a single uh, room apartment, like a full uh, apartment, uh, eight thousand or near about ten thousand uh, ruble. Right. 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 Okay. So because the place that I used to live in, apartments used to be a little bit more expensive. Uh, for me, apartments used to cost me around. As far as I remember, I used to pay it in dollars. It used to cost me around four hundred to five hundred dollars per a month. But that used to be the full apartment, so I used to share it with somebody. So I used to eat, I used to spend like around two hundred and fifty dollars per month. And I think apartments also differ. Like you know, if you go to a cheap like a ch apartment which is not very fancy, I know friends who actually studied and stayed in apartment which cost them hundred dollars per month. You know, so it all depends on what kind of things you fancy. So this what was the uh, the. Go Grocery cost? Well, I think yeah, everyone keeps. Like, I think I had the same question when I was going to Russia. Like, what is the price of day-to-day -day food? Like, honestly speaking, like in any country, if you're going to be eating out in Russia, I think any part of the world, it's going to cost you a lot. So it's of course very cheaper always to buy food and cook it at home. Now, groceries in Russia actually were quite cheaper because, especially when you look at the foods that Russia is famous for, like potatoes. Uh, they have a lot of onions which are very cheap, but apples is like very very cheap in Russia Oranges also you used to get so I wouldn't say groceries used to be super expensive I think it would be medium like I I used to spend around uh, I Think there used to be time I used to spend around Hundred and fifty dollars per month for f food like groceries used to cost me that but uh, once again I knew people who actually had grocery shopping for like hundred dollars a month so yes i mean because if your vegetables and stuff is very cheap in russia of course meat price is of course expensive so but i would think generally if you are a normal student just like me you know and i think groceries would cost you between 100 and 100 to 150 dollars per month that should be the average cost what about your case Subesh? how much do you think groceries cost over there so I'm completely agree with you. The grocery cost is not uh, very expensive, not super expensive here. First, you can find there every type of vegetables and meat, and the, of course, meat cost will be some uh, some high in comparison of vegetables. But in summer, you can find all type of organic vegetables. But in winter, you all only find there frozen, like a frozen uh, fruits, and um, there will be some kind of fruits, organic fruit. But in uh, winter, mostly you find only. Uh, frozen vegetables and fruits absolutely absolutely i actually enjoy uh, by the way the summers used to be my favorite months because like they used to have like some amazing tasty fruits like peaches and uh, 
what were they had peaches cherries berries and they used to be so cheap like you know so that was amazing you know especially if you're going to be there if you're not if you're going to be there in the summer during in russia the fruits are amazing they're organic they're fresh amazing food that they have let's talk about something uh, further obesha what about things like you know basic things that you need what about like mobile and internet like how did you find it expensive in russia compared to your country was it cheaper what was how was that so uh, internet is not uh, really expensive here you can find max you can maximum pay a uh, 1000 uh, ruble in a month for getting unlimited internet for a month and unlimited uh, talking your network to uh, that same network and for other network you can find you can uh, get some minutes like 200 minutes or maybe there some uh, network are offering you 300 minutes so internet is here not really expensive the plan i'm using i'm using here uh, mts rush so my plan is uh, near about uh, 700 ruble which which give me unlimited internet for a month and 200 minutes for others and unlimited calls to MTS to MTS in, in, in my state where I am living. Yeah, absolutely, man. Like for me, I actually found internet in Russia like so much cheaper because I think I used to be spending around 700 rubles, which used to be around $10. And that used to be divided between two people because I was living with somebody, so we were sharing it. So I was spending $6 for internet per month for the home internet and that used to be unlimited that like that was like so cheap like we used to be able to download stuff watching youtube videos and stuff it was so much better because in my country internet is limited and i pay way much more than what i used that I used to pay in russia so yeah definitely internet is amazing over there and the second thing was the mobile internet mobile used to be pretty cheap as well because certain lines that i used to call they used to have uh, if you're like if you're using mts then mts to mts is free so I used to spend in total for internet and mobile I used to be spending around $10 maximum per month for phone and internet of course you can do it for cheaper but that was the maximum that I spent for it so as is when you are come uh, for a study in Russia so you have to complete your health insurance when if you are foreigner here or maybe if you are a local uh, if you are a Russian citizen you have to health insurance here so what was the uh, health insurance cost yeah health insurance is a very important topic you know because if you're going to be in university and if you're going to be sick of course you need insurance to cover it i can't really remember how much my insurance used to cost because it's been a while but i used to i think it used to be around uh 20 dollars or 30 dollars somewhere around that range but i also have to say that the insurance didn't cover everything you know because it, it was a cheap insurance and it was only for students uh it didn't cover like except like things very uh, acute pressure issues like uh, road accidents and stuff but yeah i mean if you have like some acute emergencies like appendicitis and stuff the insurance covers it but there have been times when i knew there used to be insurance but you could never cover it so there used to be an extra amount that you had to pay so i wouldn't say the insurance is completely useful in russia it's very important because you need to you need to have it to actually get the registration so yeah i mean Insurance was cheap, but at the end of the day, if you get sick, you definitely have to pay a little bit more, especially depending on how ill you are. Okay, so that's that's all cool, but you know, we always know that uh, every, any, because we're studying in Russia, like you're always going to have other expenses. So, I mean, how much did you used to get? Like how much pocket money did you used to spend per month? And how much do you think it's enough to survive for, uh, for an average student? I would say how much minimum do you need to survive and still have fun at the same time? How much cash do you think you'll need? So for average student, uh, you need near about ten to twelve thousand ruble. Uh, for the if you are uh, not going every day for the party uh, like uh, uh, clubbing and uh, stuff like that, so ten thousand and twelve thousand uh, ruble it will be uh, enough cost. Right, right. Yeah, I mean definitely. Like you know, if you don't have a social, very big social life, and if you're not going clubbing and partying and that so much, I would suggest twelve. I would even say a little bit more, fifteen thousand, so that you're actually comfortable. But I definitely knew people who were living in $100 per month. Yeah, so it all depends on how you want to live. If you want to live a comfortable life, you want to have a little bit of outgoing life, I would say 200 to $250 is enough. But you can definitely, if you, if you have a bigger social life and if you go out and stuff, you definitely will need more in any case. That was this video. In the next video, we're going to be talking about living environment in Russia and uh, how it is and how people can adapt to it. So let's talk to you in the next video.